we have just left the Burlington State Park campground, which is in the Avenue of the Giants, heading north. Um, I believe Humboldt Redwood or is the next campground that has hike and bike. Um, and of course we got Eureka ahead of us. Don't know how far, maybe 40 miles maybe. But I'm in no rush. I'm just going to continue enjoying this amazing scenery. I encourage anybody who wants to to take, you know, to take in this this incredible you know show of nature to come here. I, I've met a, a lady, for, and I think her name is Yura from Lithuania this morning. She flew in from Chicago, has been walking, taking buses and walking. Um, all over the northwest part of the United States. Um, Watch out for them crazy drivers. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. Um, met somebody named Doug. Not sure where he was from, but he had a neat little teardrop ta trailer behind his car. Um, talked for a while. He was a high school teacher. Um, just run into a lot of great people who share the same interest, you know, coming out and really rejuvenating yourself as well as experiencing this beautiful part of the country. Um, so we'll see where we go today. I I don't know if it, it'll probably be warm like it has been the last couple days here once we leave these trees, the Avenue of the Giants. Um, but we'll see how far we get today. We are still on the Avenue of the Giants, uh, kind of at an intersection about midway where you can get back on the 101 if you choose. But there's an interesting sign up here or post. I don't know if you can see it. High Water, December 1964. So the Eel River in December of 1964 flooded, and it was the top of that post, 35 feet up, is how high the water level went when this river flooded. I don't know how many homes were here then, but that had to be a lot of land underwater. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, so we're going to keep going, see if we can make Eureka today. Um, we'll see. If not, we might be doing a little stealth camping somewhere. I don't think there's any other campgrounds between here and there.
Sherlock Grove. So 45 miles to Eureka. I don't know if we'll make it. We might. Um, if not, we'll probably stealth camp along the way because I don't think there are any other campgrounds with hike and bike between uh, where we just left and Eureka. So we'll see. I'm going to open up the little tent, our dog tent back there so they can look out while we're riding. They can look out and you know they still can usually, but I'm gonna open it up. They get a little more air in there also. All right, Twinkie is probably up. She's looking out her little, she's watching. Cooper might be sleeping, hard to say. But... You stay in there, little girl. She does have, they have a, they're really short leash that's attached to the back of the little tent. So it's to keep her from jumping out. Um, she still tries to stretch it sometimes and get up on this pannier here I guess to see better see maybe or to get closer to me um, I'm hoping as long as I keep moving won't get any you know mosquitoes or anything in there to bite them or any other bugs um, but we're still just Enjoying this amazing scenery. Look at the size of that. Wow. really like these little post offices. This is Redcrest Post Office. Kind of neat. Let's see. Cafe. Hold on, Twinkie and Cooper. Stay. Stay, Twinkie. General store. Doesn't look like it's been open in a while. Uh, let's see. That store isn't open. Hmm. Hey, come here, Cooper. I guess we can shut this off. Okay. It took us two days to complete, but we made it through the Avenue of the Giants, about 30 miles. Runs parallel to the US 101. I would highly recommend it to anybody who's in this area, uh, Northern California, you know, near Eureka. Just amazing. So, uh, and the Burlington Campground, 
which is in the Humboldt State Park. Uh, wonderful. Uh, so, you know, if you ever have the time, I'd say take the uh, Avenue of the Giants. Now we're getting back on the 101, headed towards Fortuna or Eureka. Uh, some looking for some place, I guess, to uh, some place for the night. I don't think there are any more state campgrounds between here and Eureka, so we may have to do some stealth camping tonight. Unless by some miracle we make it to Eureka and can get a hotel room. But that's uh, looking slim, but we'll see. I'm going to miss all the shade in the Avenue of the Giants. I stopped at a store in, I think it was called Red Crest. They had a thermometer in the shade that said 90 degrees. So it's definitely a warm, warm day. A little humid and that seems to bring out the mosquitoes, but still really had an enjoyable time going through the Avenue of the Giants. And they certainly were giant trees. It's kind of humbling, I think, for some people to be around those trees that have been around for so long and are so huge. All right, here we go, back on the 101. So we're going through the town of Rio Del. Maybe stop for some pizza. Probably about 30 miles from Eureka. Um, just taking a little side, some side routes, side, side roads off the 101. That was just kind of crazy. And uh, these little towns look much more interesting and enjoyable than than uh, the highway. Rio Dale. And there's a big uh, oh timber mill we just passed so I think this is kind of logging country but this looks like a nice little town the dogs are getting excited they need a break maybe for later. We may end up just stealth camping tonight. If we don't make it to Eureka.
pizza factory. Let's see if they sell it by the slice. 